In tonight's video, we're going to be covering a Gar Betuk that I played along to last night. And in it, there's a variety of different guzzles. And in those, I played various luggies, tekas, and mukras. And I'll be going in depth in this video series on my thought process behind them, the bulls. And of course, I'll demonstrate them as well. So in this first guzzle that we're covering, I actually played two different luggies in the luggy section. And the reason was that the first one I didn't feel suit, suited the exact needs of this song. Didn't really have the energy I was looking for. So I played it for two cycles, then I evolved into something else. So let's listen to what that luggy is. <laughs> Now, this luggy is Now, some may also say this is a Rela, but here it is demonstrated. Now, I had played Dhenegenes as fillers in the beginning portion of this guzzle. So I thought this would fit the needs of the luggy portion properly, but the dhenagene was just too soothing and soft. I needed something with much more attack and that would really build the energy and the speed that I was looking for. So I played this a few times and with music, always remember you have to constantly adapt. Then I switched into something else and I stuck with that till the tihai. So let's now listen to what I finally evolved into from this luggy. Now, the bulls to this luggy are Now, this is one that I've covered before in a video on mastering your nanagene. And one thing I would like to point out is that is a fantastic exercise that I shared about Nanagene. In fact, I practiced that one regularly. And when I was accompanying in this particular betuk, I was tired, I was sore, it wasn't really my best day. But still, with practicing Nanagene regularly, I had no issue at all playing this luggy. And I even did a few different variations as well on the baya to kind of spice it up. So really do practice those different exercises I've given. They'll really benefit you quite a bit. So let's now get into the basic teka that I played in the beginning of this guzzle. And here's a clip of that. Now, the bulls to that teka are da naka trika naka trika din din da naka trika naka trika din din. So, one thing I'd like to point out is you can be very expressive even with this basic teka. Just because it's basic, don't zone out, don't stop listening to the vocalist. The din din portion is where I like to do some variations. When they go low, I like to play the din din where I pull back on the baya, like this. Like that, pulling back. 
And when they're trying to build up some energy, I like to punch forward on the bio, like, so like that. So the second din din is much more uh, upbeat, I feel. So I like to use it as I'm progressing to the luggy section. Now, one thing I will say is this bass teka, I don't feel from here, you can directly go to the luggies. You need a bridge in between. So now we're going to be showing a clip of another teka that's more of a bridge between this and the luggy section. It's kind of there to build up energy and build up momentum. So let's hear that. <laughs> Now, the bowls to that teka are Dhaga tunnaga tunnati naka tunnaga tunnati So, this one has a tun in it, which uh, is a bit of a refresher, I feel. But it slowly is getting into the luggy section, I feel. It has a dhaga, tunnaga in it, so baya right in the beginning. So you can kind of, in some ways, sort of start doing some more bio work, and really it just lifts the energy levels of the track. And this, of course, is my style of doing it. Other tabla players may have other ideas on how they do this. So this is kind of the second teka that I would play in certain portions but more as the song would progress, not right in the beginning. So let's now get into two different mukras also I would play. Let's listen to a clip of the first one. Now, this mukra is pretty simple. The bulls are So it goes like this. So this mukra I played in different portions because I wanted to know were my hands warmed up enough? Could I play nanagene? When I play mukras, and there may be a different terminology different people use for this, but basically I just throw them as short little fillers in between the teka I play after a while. Basically it goes something like this. Let's say I'm playing the bass teka. It sounds like this, a mukra. So like that, you throw it in in the middle and it gets less monotonous because if you play the teka over and over again, it will sound boring. But the secondary benefit is that you can kind of scan how different things are sounding in the room. For example, in this particular room, I like the sound of the baya and the dhenigene is also coming out well, which is why initially I thought a dhenigene luggy would be best for the double speed. But as I stated earlier, it was a bit too soft for my liking, so I played something else. So those are the different reasons that you would play a mukra. Now, let me play a clip of another one that I played and then I'll go to the bulls of that as well. Now, the bulls to this mukra are So go like this. So pretty simple. Let me demonstrate that again with the teka. Now, same thing, you play a mukra because you don't want the whole thing to be too monotonous, but I'm also scanning the room. I want to hear how the terikita sounds. Will I play terikita in the double speed section? I'm testing it all out. I'm basically experimenting till I find something that I like, and then I'll play that more. 
So that's basically my thought process when it comes to playing along with the luggy. Sorry, playing along with the guzzle. And feel free to comment below anything else you'd like me to cover. Make sure to include a link. But do note that YouTube could be censoring some of the links that you're posting because they think it's spam. So in that case, email me them, Instagram, or Discord. And speaking of Discord, we're actually about to have a meeting on there in just a few hours. And later on, there'll be more and more happening on there. So definitely do join that. Thank you.